Well, what is up everybody? It is Life's Apprentice. Good morning to you, or afternoon. It's Friday, we're gonna be running dumpsters, three trucks, but uh, the good stuff always happens when I don't have the camera with. So I've been running dumpsters pretty much all week, almost every day. Um, Laura has been too, but uh, two days ago on our oldest trailer, I blew the hydraulic line looks like he replaced only one of them but it was the biggest one on the entire trailer and it was leaking right down in here um so this area is pretty low to the ground and at the dump and landfill and stuff like that it can kind of get bumped and rubbed i don't know if i hit something or if it's just kind of old and worn out but uh got that replaced um luckily the hydraulic blew here at the yard and I didn't get it all over customers. But one thing about the Nedlands trailers, and I don't know if Nedlands actually does this, I, I believe that they do, is there's actually not real hydraulic oil in, um, in these cylinders. What it is, is it's sort of like a biodegradable vegetable oil, um, which is interesting. And I didn't really know that, um, but that way, if it does leak or blow, um, it shouldn't stain and ruin a customer's driveway or something like that. It's also, uh, you know, better for the environment. So anyways, we got this hose replaced and uh, it's a big one. This thing's literally probably 30 feet long. So it goes up to the cylinders here, the reeving cylinders, and then all the way back around and up to um, the main the engine and the pump and everything up in here so we got that taken care of um this trailer's old so eventually we'll probably have to replace all the lines at some point but uh yeah right here you can see where it meets up he must have replaced both of them i told him to replace both of them if uh if needed but anyways we're gonna be running dumpsters all three of us tim chelsea and myself I have my F-250 here, and it's kind of hard to see. But I actually got DOT and DNR numbers. Um, here's the yard. This is the Friday after Memorial Day weekend, and it's looking pretty good. We got a 10 yard, we got seven 15s, and then we got the 220s. trying to get up to speed here this is a 6.2 liter it's a 2019 f-250 gas 6.2 liter we got a full 15 yard behind us we got up to speed pretty good but that's a question I get a lot um, you know what kind of truck do I need to do this now in my consultations and my suggestion is that you don't start with a 2500 or a 250 um, if you're going to be serious about roll-offs and dump trailers and stuff like that and you're going to buy a truck get get an f-350 or bigger the issue with that is is most of them don't come with a 10k gvwr and uh in order to run a 16k trailer like we do um and stay under cdl you have to uh you have to derate to 10k um a lot of people start with the 250s and 2500s because most of them come from the factory with a 10k gvwr now, I'm not discouraging anybody, and I, I, I never want to do that. Um, and you can definitely pull dumpsters with an F-250 or a 2500, a three-quarter ton truck. But I think if you're going to do it long term, that you should probably start with an F-350. Um, for one, you got a little bit more power. Two, you have a little bit different suspension. And don't quote me, I'm not an auto expert or anything like that, but uh, leave some comments. What are the main differences between like a three quarter ton truck and a one ton truck? Like uh, the difference between an F-250 
and an F-350. Leave some comments. But uh, it can be done. If you're gonna start and be serious about the business, I say just go ahead and start out with an F-350. If you already have a 2500 or an F-250 or something like that, and that's what you already have, start with it. Um, but we'll talk about some of the other differences and stuff like that. This dumpster I have behind me actually feels fairly heavy, and I will be picking up a roofing dumpster a little bit later. Um, now, I use this F-250 to haul my dump trailer for shingles all the time, and it, it does well. But I'm also not really doing lots of miles long distance, um, and I have a small dump trailer. My dump trailer is only a uh, six by 10, um, with like two feet side, two foot sides, two and a half, three feet. Um, so it's only, if you figure it out, it's only like seven or eight cubic yards, um, my dump trailer. So it works, it pulls. Um, I think honestly, I've been doing a little test here this morning cause I've never really figured. I think honestly the F-250 gets a little bit better fuel mileage um, than the 350, which kind of seems odd and different, but uh, we'll see throughout the course of the day if that changes because I was testing it with an empty trailer and now I have a full trailer and we're gonna we're gonna kind of run it all day and see uh, see what it does. But uh, we got a 15 yard on here. We're gonna take to our a transfer station that I don't really show very often because I don't go there very often. But uh, and then uh, this 15 yard right by the transfer station, we have a place to set it. So that's where we're going. We'll talk some more about the three quarter ton versus one ton. I guess that'll be kind of the theme of the video today. All right, we're leaving the transfer station. And uh, I said that one felt heavy. It really wasn't that heavy. It's the truck. Um, that one was almost 3,000 pounds. It's 2660. <coughs> household but it was packed really well I mean they they took their time and packed it nice and tight but uh, another thing with this truck it's way more bumpy it's not nearly as smooth of a ride um, part of that's probably the suspension and I don't I don't really know but uh, definitely not as smooth of a ride all right well I'm gonna go into my docket app here and uh, figure out uh, my way to the customer I think we're only like 15 minutes from the customer here where we are. So uh, let's go get this bad boy delivered. So we got a full uh, 20 yard on here. I don't know how heavy it is. And we do not live in a very hilly area. Like, I mean, Wisconsin's pretty flat, at least on the eastern side of the state. But this truck is having a hard time with these little bitty hills on the highway. This is a interstate 70 mile an hour speed limit. I'm having a hard time maintaining speed. I'm gonna show you, I got a hill coming up here. Not a very big hill, it might be like a 50 foot rise. Um, but watch, when I, when I hit this hill, the truck is gonna jump down to third gear and go to about 4,000 RPMs. See that? You can probably hear it too. And I'm not even gaining speed, I'm just maintaining speed. And here we are at the top of the hill and it'll go to fourth gear. So if you guys live where there's hills and stuff like that, um, and we'll see how heavy this is. I don't think it's very heavy the dumpster but uh, if you guys live in an area with hills and stuff like that there's just not enough power in this truck I don't think um, it'll do it but I'm saying in the long run you're really really beating on the engine and uh, it's a lot harder for this truck to do it um, versus our other two trucks which do it a lot more easy and uh, with less effort so it seems as far as fuel mileage, um, we are getting 
about eight and a half or nine miles per gallon throughout the course of the day so far so the fuel mileage is actually going down as my day goes because i started out empty and uh then i had that 15 yard on there and then i drove back empty to pick up this 20 yard and now on the highway uh with this 20 yard the truck is struggling no doubt about it we're gonna get this guy to the dump i do not have the fast pass on this truck so i'm gonna have to go through the uh normal lanes and i'm gonna get a they put in a little scanner thing i don't know what the heck you call it but they'll put it into the truck but then i'm gonna have to go through and weigh when i'm full and weigh when i'm empty so that they can record my um, empty weights so that in the future i can go through the uh the fast lane so we'll see you guys at the dump all right so i just i'm gonna have to reweigh, but i get this little I don't know what is actually in here. There must be some sort of little computer chip that reads um, what truck it is, the empty weight, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then this is just sticky. You just stick it up on your window there. And uh, once I go through, I'm gonna have to figure out my empty weight with a 20 yard, a 15 yard, and a 10 yard. And once I have all three figured out, then I can go through the, the other scale. Now there wasn't a line um, at the scale but as you can see, there's a line um, waiting to get into the dump. So I'm gonna stick that on there and uh, we'll figure out how much this bad boy weighs in a minute. All right, well, we just set this 20 yard here and uh, ooh, we're not gonna make the turn here. Just set that 20 yard and look what's in the driveway right there. So, marking your cans, branding your cans, they guarantee you the neighbor called. I almost bet you money that he called off the can, and uh, that's why he rented. So anyways, that 20 yard was 2,880 pounds. Truck handled it and did it, but it's, it's nothing like the other trucks. Um, now, we're empty, we're going to get, I believe, a 15 yard with shingles in it. So this one should be heavy. And uh, it's just kind of a good day to do an example. And I'm driving the F-250. So we're gonna kind of show you guys, you know, the pros and cons of, you know, running with the 2500 or F-250, doing what we do. Now, keep in mind that compared to other trailer manufacturers, roll-off trailer manufacturers, Nedlands is way heavier. So right now, empty with no can or with an empty can, there's like five or 6,000 pounds behind us when we're completely bone empty, bone dry and empty. Um, so you have to consider that depending on the kind of trailer that you have. And um, I know a lot of you guys out there are using 2500s and 250s. Um, I'm just trying to make a video that is, you know, something that I haven't done and just kind of talk about it. I'm not against it because I'm doing it right now. Um, but uh, we're going to go get this 15 yard with shingles in it. And I guess we'll see how heavy it is. All right. Well, all three trucks are back. Chelsea ran till about two. I ran till about two. And Tim just got back at three everything all done like 18 tasks today between the three trucks pretty good day not the greatest in sales but we had a lot of pickups to do because we set so many last friday that last dumpster was about six thousand pounds the roofing dumpster and the f-250 handled it got it to the dump dumped it but it's just lacking just a little bit of power i think and um i don't know let me guys let leave a comment and let me know your experience what you guys think between the f-250 and the f-350 if you guys have experience or how your f-250 or 2500 works for you um, and i'm not knocking um, the the 250 or the 2500 at all i'm just saying i get this question a lot and um, if you're gonna start and you can choose i would definitely recommend the 350. Um, that being said Hit the like button if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Check out, I have like 150 other dumpster rental videos. If you guys haven't watched them, go binge some of them. We'll leave some links right up in here. 
and uh, you guys can check out those videos. I appreciate you for watching. We will see you on the next one.